New iPhone software is announced today. Intel shows off a program that can read your mind and how to get your mom to stop stalking you on Facebook. It's Thursday, April 8th. I'm Natalie Del Conte and it's time to get loaded. Just a reminder, Apple will showcase its next generation iPhone software today. We film loaded too early to know what's being announced, but stay tuned to CNET today for an update because our San Francisco colleagues will be on the scene. New software can read your mind, uh-oh. Intel showed off this software this week and it analyzes MRI scans to determine what part of a person's brain are being used while said person is thinking. It couldn't really tell entire phrases like my feet are killing me, but it can determine which of two words a person is thinking about when given the binary choice. This software is not intended to invade your private world. It's meant to help disabled people communicate, but we can't pretend it doesn't have the possibility of being the slightest bit intrusive. Big retailers are starting to get more gadgets you most likely care about. Best Buy will start selling the Barnes & Noble Nook on April 18th, and the Kindle could come to Target stores on April 25th. There's no word that these e-readers will be discounted, but I am expecting price drops for both of them soon now that the iPad is out. Google Earth's Ocean Project is now available by default to all users. This is Google's 3D map of the ocean with videos, photos, and narrative from the world's leading oceanographers. This launched last year as a layer of Google Earth, but since then Google has added new information and made this a default to all Google Earth users. So go exploring if you have the time. No scuba gear required. The font you choose could save you money in your printing costs. A new study from Printer.com found that choosing the right font could save you as much as 31% in your inkjet and toner cartridge expenses. The company did a rundown of the most efficient fonts to use, the winner, Century Gothic. The loser and most ink-hogging font, Franklin Gothic Medium. Real estate site Trulia launched a rental listing site this week. Trulia is usually for homes for sale, not for rent, but I suppose they want a piece of the rental pie too. It isn't a bad idea, but it will be hard to gain market share from Craigslist and now Google Maps, which also does rentals. A 16-year-old boy is suing his mother for stalking him on Facebook. The boy lives with his grandmother, but he says that his mother is incessantly monitoring him on Facebook and he wants the court to prohibit her from contacting him. Okay, first of all, my mom does this, doesn't bother me. Second, why doesn't he just unfriend her and set his profile to private if he's so uptight about it? And lastly, I'm totally gonna do that. Is your wrist getting tired from all that mousing about? How about a mouse that you navigate with your foot? The wireless toe mouse is mostly designed for people with disabilities. You click with your big toe and right click with the second toe. It's also very handy if you don't like other people using your computer. No one's going to just jump on and navigate someone else's toe mouse. Those are all your headlines for today and that does wrap up your week of getting loaded. I'll see you on Monday. Thank you for watching. I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV and you've just been loaded.